Hey! It's another beautiful morning for us to start anew. Get out there and create opportunities for yourself and for the world. My name is Danny and I'm a skill developer, top of the morning. Welcome to episode 2 on how to protect your account. How do you protect your online account from hackers so that people who have not done anything don't come in to reap from where they did not sow. We talked on part one the other day. Now number two, rule number two on how to protect your account is a very, very simple one. Are you used to using passwords that contain stuff that of public information about you? Do your password contain your name? Does it contain your date of birth? Does it contain your brother's name, your sister's name, your child's name, your husband's name, your community's name? Then you be potential customer for hackers and they never spare you because it'd be easy for them to guess up and get into your account and read from where they did not so. If your password contains any of this, think twice and change it. <coughs> Excuse me. Next. Number three. Number three. Are you used to clicking random links while you're on the internet? Links you're not sure of. Links for games, links that um, that promises you wealth, promise you that you want something. Are you used to clicking those links? Are you used to click playing those games that come along when you are on the social media site? That may just be a potential doorway for hackers because you are the doorway into your account. And as you are the doorway into your account, that means they can only get in through you. So once you click any of those links or some of those links, it might just be you opening the door and telling them come in and read from where you do not so. So be careful before you click a link on the internet. Be very careful. It should be a link that you trust. Otherwise, you will not be happy you did. Number three. Number three. Are you used to signing into your accounts on other people's devices? That is very, very dangerous. So, if you're used to signing on other people's devices, always get to the point now that you always try to sign in on your device only sign into your account on your device only if you must sign into another person's device then make sure you sign out at the end and if possible clear browser history and make sure you don't click the save password option that comes in when you are about to sign in that's the only way you protect your account so <laughs> we've talked on three things today one one don't use passwords that are or that contain public information about you. Two, avoid clicking random links that you're not sure about in the internet. And three, sign in to your account only on your own device. Trust me, if you do these things, your account is safe and you'll be able to reap from where you're going to reap from what you have sown. I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It is Mota, it is Danny.